Inside this box rests a $4,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection opening and I believe, based on what I was told when I was sent this collection, this is about a $4,000 plus Yu-Gi-Oh collection. So I'm pretty excited. We haven't bought a collection worth that much in a little bit, so I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. I think there's a lot of ultimate rares, which everybody loves, and there's also a giveaway. So we have what seems to be a note. Let's see what is inside. Ruxin, you're the GOAT. Thank you very much. Shout out to my guy, Brad PL, enjoy the collection, Colton. So Brad, shout out to you. Colton, shout out to you. I paper cut myself yesterday, by the way. You can see that there. Okay, very short note, short and sweet, right to the point. Let's go. Giveaway, what is it? Giveaway contains an ultimate rare phenomenon, the King of Poison and Snakes. That's first edition, by the way, from Tactical Evolution. An ultimate rare Flint, first edition from Rise of Destiny and an ultimate rare first edition triggered summon from force of the breaker so we are starting it off with three ultimate rares as the giveaway that's pretty nice colton thanks a lot for that if you guys want to win that giveaway just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you like in this collection and shout out to colton for the awesome giveaway okay this is a uh not massive collection there are four deck boxes so it's not like tiny or anything but it's, it's kind of in the middle in terms of quantity these are all marked as ulti it seems so i don't <laughs> i don't know if they're all ultis maybe they are he told me this a while back and then he took a while to ship it so i don't remember like it's been like probably a month or two since we first started talking so let's see oh that didn't work all right, fine. We'll bring out the knife. I know you guys love to see the knife in the video. So there we go. There's the knife. It's cut that tape open. That took two seconds. Very nice. All right, we're starting off nice here. Pulling the rug is a pretty good one. That's first edition. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't wanna hold so many at once because they're all ulties, I think, based on what I'm seeing on, you know, it says all ulties, so we'll see. First edition pulling the rug. So I'm gonna try as we go to pull out a few more cards and kind of show them, because sometimes I'll go through these and I'll never actually pull any cards out. And I know a lot of you guys are like, man, I really wanna see the card closer. So if we get some big ones, we will. These are pretty big, to be honest. Pulling the rug, that's two of them. Not quite a play set, but that could be good for Edison sides. Might put that in my Edison deck, you know, to upgrade the rarity. Transmigration Prophecy, also from Strike of Neo. So we got one, two of those. Metal Reflect Slime, first edition this is from Phantom Darkness. For a while, these are pretty expensive. And then they got the reprint in uh, Legendary Duelist 7. So the Wing Dragon Raw one. Two of those. So we have two of everything. Very interesting. Hero Metal. We have one, two. Another trick. Wait. No, he gave one of these away. Okay, that's right. Okay, he gave a triggered summon away. He has two more. So maybe he collected two, and then the extras were why he did the, the giveaway. Okay, Cyber Summon Blaster. All two as well. Interesting. D-Chain. These are all traps. So these are very organized, which is pretty cool. Drastic Drop-Off. Nothing that like we need to like really look closely at. The best so far is definitely the Pulling the Rug. Radiant Mirror Force. That's a pretty nice card from Force of the Breaker. And then Cloak and Dagger. So that's, a, I mean, all traps so far. We still have another half of this deck box, though. All right, what else do we have? We have a Birthright, one and two. Always two. Interesting. Not a play set, not one, but two of everything. Fire Darts. Let's see if that ever changes. Cross Counter. So far, it's not. Magical Explosion. It seems like there are going to be all traps in here. Magical Explosion, the Option Hunter. These are all Ultimate Rare First Edition. This is a pretty cool collection so far. Chain Burst. I wonder what the condition will be. Seems like they're all double sleeves, so good chance they could be like light played near mint. With some of the stuff like Soul of the Duelist, Greeds, you know, Soul of the Duelist Ultimate Rares, I should say, not just Greed. They're usually lightly played, just out of the pack. Same thing with Rise of Destiny Ultimate Rares. Firewall, just this era was pretty tough. Not Firewall Dragon, just Firewall. We have Tragedy from Rise of Destiny, Null and Void from Soul of the Duelist. We've pulled this a couple times. Or at least once out of the hobby box, maybe twice. Trojan Blast. We have Goblin out of the frying pan. Pretty cool. Damage Condenser. So trap ultis usually don't tend to be that expensive because most of them are not good cards. Pulling the rug is the exception. So that's probably like the lower end of what we're going to see. And even so, it's all first edition ultis. So pretty good. Okay, next we have a brown deck box. I'm not going in any specific order because there isn't an order like listed or anything, at least that I can see. So yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Okay, the that one might be like a finale type one, but we're going to go for it anyway. As you can see, there's a cyber cyber dragon, cyber twin dragon, I should say. Ultimate rare right at the front. So first edition. Are there going to be two of these? That'd be nice. Three? Nope. UFO Red Fighter. So we're in Cybernetic Revolution. Are there bigger, like the big one, like Cyber End Dragon or Cyber Dragon? Who knows? Evil Hero Lightning Golem. Still two of everything so far. Okay, just a few fusion cards. So we did get Cyber Twin. That's a pretty nice one. Grand Mark, also pretty nice. You can see there's some foil shift going on here too. Speaking of, you know what? Let's go back and check out some of those Cyber Twins. Let's see what kind of condition we're looking at. 
while we're doing this. What kind of condition are we looking at? I'm guessing that for the most part, they'll be similar, but they could be different, who knows? Let's see. Man, it looks good on the front for the most part. The back, wow, these are very solid. Okay, there's a corner that's pretty bad right there. So the corner's messed up. The back has a light scratching, so. Yeah, definitely not a good corner. That's really like still pretty good overall, like not super scuffed up, anything like that. Very nice Cyber Twin. And if you guys see something that you are interested in buying, some of this will be on my website. I don't know exactly yet what will be on my website, what won't, because I don't even know what's in here right now. But uh, with the PSA stuff, I usually put most of it on there. With the raw cards, it can be different. This one also has some corner issues. So we're looking at not perfect condition here. Like up here, you can kind of see ding corners. Surfaces are pretty good overall for these though, which is pretty nice to see. Overall, fairly nice condition on the Cyber Twin Dragon. So, you know, something like that is probably what we're seeing. Let's just, okay, wait, where's my other? Wait, only one Grand Mark? Did I miss one? One Grand Mark, two Harpy Queen. Wow, two Harpy Queens are pretty nice. Sacred Phoenix, we gotta check these out. Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Oh yeah, you can already see this one. This is such a hard card to find in good condition. The edge wear is pretty bad. It's a little beat up on the top. It's Ultimate Rare first though, and it looks like the ulti is shifted a little bit down. It's covering up the first edition and the uh, set code a little bit. Back, yeah, has some scuffing going on. So yeah, this is definitely not perfect, but coming out of the pack, these are really hard to get nice. That's pretty good. Let's check out the second one. Coming up next, one of my favorite, Ryza Ultimate Rare. I'm gonna have to check out one of those as well. Okay, yeah, this one definitely has some edge wear. Check this out at the top. Not incredible, not incredible in terms of condition there. Little beat up, and by beat up, I mean like not really beat up, but not in great condition. All right, Ryza, there are two of these. Let's see what Ryza. You gonna be in great condition? Let's see, come on. So far we've had mostly like mod-ish play. Slightly better on some. Yeah, that one that one qualifies. A little bit bent or a little bit stuff going on. I feel like there's might be a bend there if I look closer. Yeah, there's definitely a bend on that corner. Backs are a little a little scuffy. So yeah, that, that qualifies as mod play for me, which is still not terrible for an old ulti, especially something like that. We have a Ryza. Cyberdark, we're gonna Okay, one of these each. Creator, oh wow, two of those. Is that a Euro? I think they're different in Rise of Destiny. Maybe that's not Euro. I can't remember how that works. Let's check it out, but this one looks great. That's all I can say, whichever one it is. Check out that texture on that card. It like shines behind it perfectly. It's so cool. Like you can see the image so well, it's just like shining. That looks amazing. The back definitely has some Rise of Destiny scuffing, but pretty good for Rise of Destiny, to be honest. It does have a ding right there at the top. So yeah, we're probably looking at around mod play for most of these, but still, I mean, really cool stuff elemental hero bubble man that's pretty nice as well three of those okay lila oh okay lila probably is more expensive now so if i bought this a few days ago i probably would have made more money on it but that's how it goes so it looks that'll be good for him because lila's probably gonna be more expensive same with celestia all these light swords are gonna be going up because of the new support horus oh are we gonna get a big horse are we gonna get a big horse no, no big horse. Okay. Volcanic Shell, pretty cool. Elemental Hero, Captain Gold. Great Shogun, Sheehan. We have the Sky Scourge in Rise. I remember these getting big for a little bit. Sky, they, some of them actually are still expensive. Norlaris. The Invasil. Invasil, I think, was the big one for a while. Uh, Lucius Level 6 out of Cyber Dark Impact. Volcanic Slicer. Just some random stuff that's pretty cool. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Ultimate. Yeah, a little redundant there. We got the Spiral Serpent. Okay, so that was a really good box right there. All right, we still got two more boxes. So this is a pretty nice collection so far. I mean, we're looking at some really, really solid stuff. Oh man, we got more fusions. Power of the Duelist coming up. Let's see. Split it in half. Let's go Super Vehicle Jumbo Drill. We got two of those. Herald of the Pure Light from Enemy of Justice. Is there gonna be a Shining Phoenix Enforcer? The Cursed Card. We have Herald of the Green Light. Very cool. Chthonian Emperor Dragon. King's Knight. All right. Ultimate rare. Just the King's Knight. No Jack's Knight. No Queen's Knight. Interesting. We're of Atlantis. Arcane Force 21. The World out of Light of Destruction. Master Monk out of the Lost Millennium. Princess Koran. Proto Cyber Dragon. We have Princess Pikaru. And Chiron the Mage. Should be one more coming up if we are staying consistent with mostly having two. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Rare values. We're looking at Crystal Beast cards. Monster Reincarnation. I love Monster Reincarnation. Rise of Destiny has some nice looking ultis for sure. Ancient Rules for your Blue Eyes decks. Awesome. Ultimate Rares. More Flints. We gave one away. And then he already has two, so that makes sense. Twister. 
Serial spell, a little bit of serial action. Who's hungry? We have Ancient Gear Castle. Where's the Ancient Gear Golems? So a lot of nice ulties, but mostly none of like the big ones, which is interesting. So like no Ancient Gear Golem, no Cyber and Drake, stuff like that. Cyclone Blade. So I'm wondering, okay, I'm, I'm going to be valuing this after what it's actually going to total out to. We have Degener Degenerate Circuit. Lucky Iron Hex. No, not the Iron Hex. I don't feel lucky at all. Reckless Rebirth. Okay, so a lot of spell cards there. One more box. That one was, you know, lower end ultis, but they all, I mean, everything's first ed. So, I mean, some of the Crystal Beast stuff, some of the horror stuff is going to do pretty well. Our final box. I have high hopes for this one. So far, it's been a lot of old school. I mean, it's all old school ultis so far. Oh, no. No, not you. Don't give us one of these. Not the UFO roid. Please, no. VES Tetran. So, uh, Elemental Energy. Two of those. Silent Sword's been level three. Two of those. All three of those. Ooh. That's a pretty cool playset. Those are really nice. Sage of Silence Ultimate Rare. That's a that's a cool one because it has like the circle pattern going on. Looks pretty nice out of Strike of Neos, I believe. Yep. Lure Queen level five from Cyberdark Impact. So some more CDIPs. The Sasuke Samurai Numero Quattro. A couple of those that you can see a little edge wear in some of these. Millennium Scorpion. Very cool. That one looks good. A Mystic, speaking of looking good, level six looks amazing. Check that out. I've always really liked this one. It's so hard to get near mint though, because you know, Rise of Destiny, very difficult. A uh, Inishishian's Chancellor out of glass. Glass ulties, honestly, I don't like them that much. I mean, they just feel a little flat, a little boring. Uh, and a lot of the good cards are not in ulti. Like this is one of the cooler ones, but a lot of them are not that great. We have Lightning Punisher. I once graded a PSA 10 of this card, Ultimate Rare. Divine Dragon Ectheleon. I pulled this guy every single time out of Shadow Infinity. You can almost, it almost looks like an Ultra here. Very interesting. One half left. Really the biggest cards would probably be Cyber, Twin, Creator, and Sacred Phoenix so far. Nothing too insane in terms of high value, which it was set at 4,000. I don't know if it actually is. That was just what I was told. Uh, Dark Nephthys. So far I would guess under that, unless we have something big coming up. Still going to be pretty expensive, though. This many first edition ulties. It depends on the conditioning, though. Stuff like that. Dark Knight Parshath. Majestic Meggore. You have pulled plenty of these. They feel like hobby ulties, a lot of them, that, but not like the ultra ulties. You know, those are like the really big ones. Phantom Dragon. This is, I feel like this is a, a decent amount, like 40, 50 bucks. I could be wrong about that. Destroyer Saur is always a really classic, cool looking one. Dinosaur ulti. Not very usable now because they have a better field spell, so you don't really want to use this one that searches the crappier one. Clouding Sheep Cloud, pretty awesome as well. Two of those. Memory Crusher ulti. We got uh, Cloudy and I the Typhoon. A Doom Shaman. Very nice. Super Ancient Dino Beast. Another couple ultis. It's always in twos, just like the Sith. Very interesting. <laughs> Chainsaw Insect. We got a couple of those. And then it ends with an A Team. Trap Disposal Unit. Interesting. Honestly, I thought there was going to be more like bigger ultis, but it's still a really cool collection to like see all these ultis at the same time. These were big hits though. Like these are all really nice. Like two Ryza, two Sacred Phoenix. I don't, the other Ryza is still in there. Two Cyber Twin and the Creator. And honestly, the Creator is one of the best looking ultis you can get. So, I mean, in, an incredible collection. For some reason, I thought there was going to be like, like a Cyber Dragon in here or something. But I guess that would be like a quarter of the value if it was 4K. Wouldn't really make sense. So, I don't know. Really cool stuff. I'm sure you guys like seeing it because these are ones that you don't see as much, you know. You see the big ones. We don't get to see like the, uh, the everyday ultimate rare. The A-Team Trap Disposal. You don't get to see that. The Chainsaw Insect. I mean, there's some good stuff to, to absorb here and enjoy. You know what I mean? And getting a collection of all ultimate rares, literally 100% ultimate rares. I don't think I've ever done that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm probably going to put a lot of these on TCG Player versus my website, but some might be on my website. So you can go check them out at roxon34.com. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine, 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.